Dear Rachel, here I sit, finally back in America, drinking a screwdriver. Writing you to chronicle the most peculiar story of our mother's necklace. A small trinket I never paid any mind to until she passed away. I had no idea it would change my life forever. I was stationed in Morocco when I received it in the mail. R. Clifford, curiously redirected from the wrong address. It included her dying wish and a note asking me to make amends with you. It had been 12 years since you and I had last talked. I didn't have much time to think about it, though. She vanished, though not without a trace. No name, but I had a location. The hunt was on. I want my necklace back. It isn't yours. Why are you doing this? I don't have time for this. I have a date with St. Mark. St. Mark. It was a long shot, but I had to get that necklace back. And something told me she wanted me to follow her. You dropped this. I don't think it counts if you miss the fountain. Are there rules about fountains? Guess I'm just a rules kind of guy. I'm sorry, do I know you? Japan, Morocco, my necklace, my mother's necklace. Does any of this ring a bell? Your mother? Yeah, my mother's necklace. Can I have it back? You're R. Clifford. Yeah, Robert. My friends call me Bobby. I'm so sorry. Okay, sure. You traveled across the world to get this necklace back? Yeah, it's important to me. Can I have it back? I didn't know it was you. I'm sorry, do you know me? That's when she told me everything. And that's when everything changed. I don't know what compelled me to travel halfway around the world for that stupid little thing. But I sure am glad I did, Rachel. I sure am glad I did. Are you okay with this? It's what she wanted. Yeah. I don't think she ever really cared about the necklace anyways. I don't think so either. 
Here, you do it. And that's the story of how my deceased mother reunited me with my long-lost sister, Rachel Clifford. Well, that was unexpected, but I'm glad we're back in touch, Rachel. Life isn't the same without you. Now you know my side of the story. I'm looking forward to hearing yours. Love, Bobby. <laughs>